You're listening to Inside Lebo, a podcast giving you an inside look at Mount Lebanon, Pennsylvania, produced by Mount Lebanon's Public Information Office. Hello and welcome to Inside Lebo. I'm your host, Assistant Municipal Manager and Municipal Planner, Ian McMeans. And I'm Assistant Public Information Officer and Senior and Online Editor, Rachel Windsor. Our guest today is Maggie Zangara, the Program Manager and Outpatient Therapist at Outreach Teen and Family Services. And Maggie is no stranger to podcast herself. She's actually the founder and producer of Outreach's own Teens Tap In podcast. So welcome, Maggie. We're really excited to have you here. And Aww, thank you. Thanks yeah. for having me. Yeah, absolutely. So I was thinking, why don't we start off by, you know, just letting the listeners know what Outreach Teen and Family Services is, what's your mission, just for those that might not be familiar. Sure. So Outreach Teen and Family Services is a nonprofit counseling organization located right here in Mount Lebanon. So we're actually in the executive building on the bottom floor. So we provide individual family and group counseling services for kiddos ages 5 to 21 as well as their families. And then we also provide a lot of prevention and education programming around mental health. Really our goal is we just want everyone in the community to thrive. So we're here to help support in a lot of different areas and needs. That's great. And so why is it so important for us to discuss our mental health? Well, mental health normally makes us feel really alone. Um, And when someone's going through something tough or challenging, sometimes it also, it feels like people don't understand. Um, And it's common for clients to share or report that they feel misunderstood. So I think listening to other peers who are of similar age, navigating similar things in their development, to be able to hear their lived experiences, I think that can really help us feel like we're not alone and that other people are going through something similarly. And it helps us also feel more heard. I like to say in counseling, healing really first starts once we feel heard. Yeah, that's a really impactful message. Um, So leaning into the podcast that you are part of, why don't you tell us a little bit about the Teens Tap In podcast? So Teens Tap In was a really fun project that I, right when I actually accepted the position as the program manager at Outreach, um, was shared that our previous junior board members who are two who were two Mount Lebanon seniors um, were discussing with our executive director about ways that the youth voice could be heard and represented at our agency. Like I said, we work a lot with kiddos in middle school and high school and young adults. So it was really important for us to find a way to make sure their voice um, was being advocated for and represented um, throughout our agency and also for people who do live in the community. So they had the wonderful idea to start a podcast. Um, And then I was the one who got to do a lot of the great research and watched a lot of YouTube videos on how to get a podcast up and running as my background was definitely in the counseling field and not in any way um, technology. So it's been a really fun, a really fun program. Um, in at, at essence, Teens Tap In is a podcast to be a peer-to-peer resource to help teens navigate through the typical challenges of being a teenager. Cool. That's that's great, and I. What you said about you know starting up a podcast kind of sounded very familiar to all of us too, just because of everything <laughs> we went through from the time we had our idea for this show to actually start doing it. So we can definitely relate yeah. on that front. Um, so how yeah. does the uh, the Teens Tap In podcast kind of uh, complement Outreach's overall mission? I feel as though it really complements our mission. Um, again, just making sure 
it's just such a great way to represent the youth voice. I lead and produce the podcast. However, our hosts who are part of another program called the Outreach College Crew, they are the hosts of the podcast. They really help create the various episode themes that are around mental health and wellness. Um, They sometimes find special guests who get to be on our episode. We're really thankful that St. Clair Health has been our annual sponsor for our podcast for the past four years. Um, And they've been awesome to work with. And we also get to have special guests on from their um, organization as well. Cool. That's great. So we're going to take a short break here and we will be right back with more about the Teens Tap In podcast from Outreach Teen and Family Services. Welcome back to Inside Levo. Thank you for enduring our break. Uh, so we are now we are here today uh, having a podcast about a podcast. It's a very meta episode of Inside <laughs> Levo today. Um, our guest is uh, Maggie Zangara, the program manager and outpatient therapist for Outreach, and we've been talking about um, sort of the generation of the Teens Tap In podcast. And um, so, how long has the uh, podcast been around? So the podcast has been around, let's see, so we actually dropped our first episode, oh wow, October 19th of 2021. So it's been around for three years, going on, going on to four. Great, and who are the hosts? So the hosts, they change yearly, um, and they... They're from the Outreach College Crew, which is a group of aspiring professionals in the field of counseling and psychology, and they get one of their subcommittee responsibilities is hosting um, Teams Tap In. We have some other subcommittees as well, but um, so the two hosts do come from the Outreach College Crew, and they are college students or high school students who have taken college credit um, who are interested in pursuing a degree ultimately in the counseling, um, in the different counseling or helping professional fields. Cool. And just really have a passion for talking and helping to do that great work of destigmatizing uh, mental health for others. Yeah. That's great. And since you mentioned that it started in October of 2021 when we were still kind of working our way through a global pandemic and trying to figure out how we were going to adapt ourselves. And I think we all kind of learned a lot of lessons over those few years about, um, you know, mental health and perseverance and taking care of ourselves. But I'm sure for teenagers who are experiencing a lot of, you know, the, the world for the first time, having to go through that was a really taxing experience. So I can definitely imagine how, you know, the, this podcast has been able to, you know, broach some of those topics along along with, uh, you know, encouraging other good mental health. So can you give us some examples of some of the other topics that you've covered on the show? Yeah, yeah. And that's, that's so awesome to hear. I really hope that this podcast was really able to help meaningful conversations between peers as well as for families. Um, we really wanted to make sure that the youth voice was being represented. But another goal of this podcast was to really help hopefully bond families together right and help parents have a insight look of what it might be like in today's age of being a teenager and to start meaningful conversations in organic ways uh, by listening to teens tap in so our episodes are pretty i would say there's they're, they're pretty um wide like a wide net of different mental health and wellness topics um, some that I really have, I've, I really feel like have been impactful um, are we had St. Clair Health. I believe he was a psychologist on the episode and he talked all about how to be happy. Um, and we named that one happiness half, half hour and things that we can do to, to boost our mood. 
and to work through and cope, um, have healthy coping habits that we can use day in and day out, no matter if we're having a positive day or a hard day to really help us cope with our experiences and what we're feeling. Um, we always really try to approach stigma around mental health. So one year when we had our new host, we did an episode with them talking about stigma and how it needs to go ASAP and how mental health can really help bring us all together. It's something that we all experience. And if we're able to feel comfortable and brave to open up about something, maybe that's causing us uh, to feel a lot of pressure, whether that's peer pressure or academic pressure, um, someone else is experiencing that too. Or whether that's really not finding the motivation to get out of bed in the morning and go to school. That's, that's a real experience that a lot of our kiddos are having right now. So to know that somebody else is having that and can talk through that, that relatability piece is something that I really think um, is such a, is, is, it's just is so positive for teens to happen. We also have had a mother and a daughter on and talk about how they both have experiences with anxiety and how anxiety can bring them closer together, which I thought was really cool. We've had episodes about social media and its impact on body image um, and so, so much more. Sounds great. It sounds like you guys cover a lot of um, important topics, especially for young people in the in Mount Lebanon mm-hmm. and beyond. So um, yeah. when and how often does it drop? So a new episode drops the third Thursday of every month. Cool. So that's good to know that people can look forward to those episodes coming out uh, once a month on the third Thursday. And so is it on all the major platforms? Uh, Do you have a YouTube stream? So where and how can people engage? Yeah, yeah. So we are on all popular uh, streaming platforms, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, YouTube. Um, You can search Teens Tap In and have a look at our episodes i think to date we have 34 episodes um and if you'd love to engage with us we're always looking for new new guests to be on our our podcast or um new topic areas that could be impactful for the community and if you have any ideas we'd love to hear from you and you can reach out um to me via email or you can feel free to check out Outreach Teen um, and Family Services Instagram page or Facebook um, and get connected with us that way. Great, well, thank you so much, Maggie. It was great having you on today. And um, that's gonna be it for this edition of Inside Lebo, produced by Carrie Munyo, with music by Drew Munyo and graphics by Chris Leeper. And you can thank check you out- Thank you so much yes. for having me. Thanks, Maggie. We really appreciate your time. You can check out Outreach's website at outreachteen.org. And we'll be back soon with another episode of Inside Lebo. Thanks for listening to Inside Lebo, produced by Mount Lebanon's Public Information Office. Learn more about all things Lebo at mountlebanon.org or by following our Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram pages. 